Hi guys! So today I wanted to do another tumbler, resin tumbler. I got these really cool, they're called Mars Maker 20 ounce skinny stainless steel uh, tumblers. And I'll have a link in the description if you guys are interested. So this one already came black, so it's already like powder coated black. So I'm not going to worry about sanding this one as it's already been coated and it's actually got kind of a tooth to it already. So I think that the resin's going to adhere just fine. I still do want to protect the bottom of this maker. Yeah, you'll see the bottom says Mars on it. So there is a line right here for me to, there's a line right here for me to follow with the electrical tape. So that's what I'm going to do now. And you'll find that when you're doing tumblers, you're applying electrical tape, <laughs> taking it off, applying it again quite a few times. But uh, I like electrical tape because I can hold it and I can pull. You can see me shaking because I'm trying to pull it. And that way it gets a really good seal on there. So actually, the, all the tumblers I've been making, I had no issues getting glitter or resin on the bottom parts. Now it's your choice whether you want to tape the top part or just the bottom. I'm going to cut it and don't forget to leave a tab which makes it way easier when this is all coated with resin <laughs> to basically remove uh, once you have the resin on here it's super sticky so I just put a little tab on there it makes it way easier and there we have the bottom taped now you could also tape the top if you wanted to on these ones with the lids I'm finding like that I don't really need to tape the top. Although I will mention that taping the inside lip before you resin is super important because I found on my first few, I'm gonna grab some painter's tape, is that I actually, when I was had my hand in here and I was holding it, I got, uh, as putting resin on, I got resin on the glove and then as my hand went in and out, I got resin on the inside of the lip. So that is why I am now going to tape the inside of the lip so that I don't have to worry about that happening again because, yeah, then I had glitter and I had a whole bunch of stuff on the inside lip of the tumbler. So this is just a good way to protect the inside. Just grab some painter's tape and I just kind of followed along the top, pushed down really good, made sure it was all stuck on there. And this way you won't get, if you get anything, you can just pull the painter's tape off. So you won't get it actually on the steel part, which is good. <laughs> So I'll keep going with that, but uh, today I wanted to do a northern light scene with glitter and then apply some trees with some vinyl and then seal the whole thing. I think it's going to be a really pretty northern lights, beautiful forest tree scene. All right, so I've taped the inside. Everything's ready to go for adding the resin, which I have mixed up here. And you don't need very much at all. So I actually covered another tumbler because I mixed up one ounce and I still have quite a bit left. So just goes to show you a little goes a long way. I could have done probably even half an ounce today. But it's always good to have a lot of projects on hand that you can use resin for. So today I have, because this is Northern Lights, I got some black glitter. This is like a navy colored glitter, some green glitter. You can choose to do your Northern Lights like with the blue, or you could go with the green. I have a little bit of white. Up here in Canada we get some variety of colors. Sometimes you even get pink and purple. It's really, really pretty uh, Northern Lights up here. So. Just so I mentioned that, and basically I'm going to put 
the resin on and you don't need very much honestly you just need enough to make the surface tacky so or sticky <laughs> I should say so I just grab a little bit of resin and the nice part about resin is you have a long working time so you know like with spray glues you kind of have to spray it and then apply the resin right away which is always a rush but this way I can actually spend the time and create the design I want and this is where I say tape the inside because when I do this sometimes I get my gloves and then it creates like <laughs> I get the resin on the inside of the cup which is not fun to get glitter off of later so just an FYI there <laughs> but all you gotta do is just spread it nice and thin don't need a thick coat it's just so that the glitter basically sticks to it but do make sure that all of your tumbler is covered with resin just like so so you'll see that I've got good coverage just making sure it's all covered and I got some on the bottom here so it's nice and sticky and resin is naturally sticky so that kind of works out <laughs> all right now that I've got it covered I'm actually going to take this glove off because I can have a little bit more control with it. I'm going to move that. Alright, so I like to put my hand inside still because you have a little bit of control up and down. I'm going to have vinyl trees here so I'm not too worried about the bottom half of the tumbler. And with northern lights, sometimes you get that glow right on the horizon that goes up to a nice dark. So I'm going to put black at the top to begin with. And this is a fine, fine grit, or very fine black. And you just pour it over the whole top part area. Oops. <laughs> and sometimes you got to make sure that you can spin your hand around. Sometimes that's easier. Just make sure you get good coverage along the top. Just like so. And everything is falling, all the extra glitter is falling down on this parchment paper. So I can just pick it up, put it back into the container. So that's looking pretty good. I also want to consider where I want my northern lights to be. So I'm going to take a little bit of this green just with my fingers. I should have probably taken a little bit out. I'm going to use a popsicle stick. <laughs> and I'm just going to kind of do a line right there where I kind of want my one northern light to be. I gotta watch because I'm getting green in my black, but that's okay. I can just kind of separate this so it's a little bit separate. So I'm just kind of adding some green where I think my northern lights would go just like so if you don't like something you can always just kind of grab some 
and adjust it with your fingers. Like right here I really want it to be a little bit more green and some sprinkles down here. And I kind of want to make it so it fades out and away. And down at the bottom I'm going to just kind of lightly sprinkle a bunch of green. Because that's where I'm going to have the glow coming from. So I don't pick up very much glitter for the bottom half here. Just picking up a little bit. So I can get that nice glow behind the trees. Just like this. I'm liking that. There we go. So I'm going to try and separate my glitters. <laughs> Although I think I've kind of totally... I should have actually poured some of the black into the container before. So this is black black glitter. <laughs> there we go. And then I want to do some blue. So a whole other color. So I'm really going to pull this black glitter over here. And the rest of the area, I'm going to add this blue. This is like a navy blue. So I'm just going to fill up areas where there's no... No green or no black. I might even pull a little bit of black and green. <laughs> kind of make a mixture and play around with your colors. I mean you can have them popping up all over the place. This is why using resin as your glue works really good because you have this long time to play with it. And even though this navy is fairly close to the black, it kind of does give a nice a nice added layer of sparkle. Okay, once you get something you really like, so we have a combination of kind of the green, the navy, and the black at the top. I really love it. And the resin, when I apply it, is just going to really bring out the sparkle in these colors. So now I have to leave this to dry. And basically in a half hour, 45 minutes, I will come back and remove the tape at the bottom because it's easier to do it when your resin is still tacky then when it's fully cured this would be like really hard to get off so come back in 45 minutes half an hour remove your tape and then let it dry overnight for at least 12 hours to get a nice full curing of that beautiful glitter but I think that's gonna look pretty amazing for a 
Northern Lights. Okay, so once your resin is dried and your glitter, don't forget to put a clear coat. I'm using this gloss crystal clear sealant over your glitter. It just helps to keep the glitter on the tumbler and make sure it's glossy because the luster one tends to take away from the glitter. So I used a glossy one for this tumbler and it worked out perfect. And so that way when you go to resin this tumbler, do your glitter, the resin over your glitter, it'll actually just help to keep the glitter in place. So it looks super pretty and sparkly. And I'm excited to get the first coat of resin on there because it'll make it sparkle even more. Now that the clear spray that I sprayed on there, the sealant is dry and the glitters for the most part staying on really good. So I have placed the tumbler onto the tumble, well, tumbler spinner and it's time to resin. So it's best to resin the glitter before you want to apply any vinyl. That way the vinyl will go on nice and smooth and stick really good to resin. And it kind of adds an extra layer of protection from your glitter and your resin, or er, and your vinyl. So, I love this. I love the variety with the three colors for the Northern Lights. I think it looks really cool and I'm excited to put the trees on. I've mixed up some heat resistant uh, resin, so I only mixed up an ounce. I have a bunch of different projects to do, but you really don't need very much resin in order to coat your tumbler, especially the glitter part, it's like less than half an ounce. So I did mix up an ounce of resin, but I'll probably only use up like less than half an ounce, just so you guys know. And all I want to do is I'm just going to take some of the resin, I'm just going to pour it on and just spread it with my glove. It's kind of the easiest way up. Oop, I found as I get resin everywhere. <laughs> just be a little bit more careful than I was. <laughs> but yeah, basically this way it'll get good coverage and I just use my gloves to spread it you just want to make really sure that you get everything covered and that you don't get any on the inside of the cup <laughs> which would not be good so if you have any spots that aren't fully covered just grab a bit more resin with your glove and stick them on there and make sure that you get it covered everywhere including the bottom portion sometimes near the top is where it's a little bit trickier because I try and generally be very careful I don't get it on the inside of the tumbler so I will take my time and spread it really good Okay, so once you have your entire tumbler covered with resin and it all looks good, just let it keep spinning. And then in half an hour to 45 minutes, you want to come back and remove this tape because it's way easier to remove while the resin is <laughs> a little bit more pliable than it is when it's uh, super hard. So we're going to let that spin and dry and then we'll apply the vinyl. Okay, so... This is done. The resin has cured on the tumbler and now it's time to apply this really pretty tree vinyl that I made. So I'm going to move the parchment paper and just take this off the tumbler. We'll just put that aside. <laughs> kind of move some stuff out of the way. And you can see that we have beautiful kind of northern lights, sparkliness. I think it looks really pretty. There's some black shining through. Super pretty and sparkly. 
And if I measured correctly, this vinyl should be <laughs> basically uh, nine and a quarter inches for around this maker tumbler for the bottom. Now this maker tumbler is straight, like basically the edges are straight, so I didn't have to curve the the vector at all. So it should just go around the bottom perfectly. If you have a different kind of a tumbler that has kind of edges that go out, like here's another tumbler where the edges start to widen, you would have to adjust your SVG or your vector for that type of tumbler. But this one, the edges are straight, so this should work out. <laughs> I see that now and we'll see what happens. So I'm just going to peel my trees off very carefully. I'm probably going to start, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to rip part of it. Okay, this way I don't have it sticking all over the place and I can just stick the first little bit. And you kind of, you can decide where you want like this is the lowest part, so I'm just going to see where I want that to be. Probably right here. So if I have the lowest part right there, then I would have to put this part right about here. I guess I'm just trying to make sure that I get it along the bottom edge nice and straight. And you just simply put it on, pushing out and making sure that all the bubbles get out from under the vinyl. And a handy trick would be to just maybe cut or rip part of your backing off. That way this is not going to all stick everywhere while you're just trying to line up the first little bit. So you can get it on there really good and straight. Okay, that's looking really good. Just gonna get that bubble out. And then all I'm gonna do is basically start to peel back some of my tree. <laughs> and still kind of trying to line up that bottom. If you have to, bring it back a bit. Oops. Just be careful not to rip your trees. <laughs> there you go. Getting there. I'm going to leave a little bit of it on so that I can kind of smooth out some of this. Might have to adjust that one tree right there. Okay, let's get the rest of these trees off. So just take your time and slowly smooth out your vinyl onto your tumbler. And I really hope that this reaches the other side. Yay! <laughs> so nine and a quarter inches was perfect for this Mars maker tumbler. That's awesome. So you can see it just kind of lines up right there. Just gonna push it down trying to get all the bubbles out from the vinyl so that we don't have any issues with bubbles or anything sticking up. And voila! Actually, that turned out really awesome. So that looks pretty cool. You can see how the northern lights and the green is shining behind the trees. And we got it up here in the nice night sky. Super beautiful. Now you could also add some text up here if you wanted to. For your, you know, you could put someone's name or you could add a different saying or a different, you know, a favorite quote or something along the top if you want to. Or you could just leave it as a Northern Lights tumbler just like this. 
So now I do have to do a final coat of resin in order to protect the vinyl that I just applied. And that way it'll all be sealed in so you can wash it and have no worries that this vinyl will get wrecked. So I do have to reapply the electrical tape to the bottom again. You're going to find when you're creating tumblers, you're constantly applying the electrical tape to the bottom of the tumbler. <laughs> But this way, because you have to take it off while the resin is um, wet. So I'm actually going to apply the electrical tape just below the vinyl because I want to make sure that the bottom of the vinyl gets sealed in the resin. So even though I have my vinyl a little bit lower than that line that was on the maker, that's totally fine. I'm just going to follow along the edge of the vinyl with the electrical tape. Just like a very like a smidge down from where the vinyl ends that way the clear resin will cover the bottom of that vinyl so just a tip make sure that if you do put vinyl along the very bottom of your tumbler you want to get that bottom part of the res or the vinyl covered with resin so that's what I'm gonna do right now so I'm just lining it up like so. Then you just grab some scissors and make sure to leave a little tab because that way it makes it way easier to pull the tape off when you're re uh, after half an hour 45 minutes of resining. Alright so I gotta mix up some resin and do my final coat. Alright I have my resin mixed up and I just mix a small amount this time. So I have, I've been using a scale to mix my resin. It just makes it easier when trying to mix very little amounts of resin. So this is just 22 grams, not even an ounce of resin in order to coat this tumbler. So the nice part about the scale is you can just weigh out exactly how much you need of the resin and the hardener as this is a two to one ratio. So you don't need very much and so I was able to do it in grams and that way I can just mix a very small amount of resin. All right, I'm going to turn on my tumbler. Hopefully it turns on, oh, I want it to go the other way. There we go. <laughs> With the tumbler, if you turn it on and off again really quick, it'll actually turn the opposite way so if it's you know, this way it'll be easy to take the tape off because it's turning in the way that once I pull this tab, I can go in the opposite direction of the turn, if that makes sense. Okay, so simple enough, just like you did with the first coat. You just put your resin on with your glove and make sure to get good coverage over all of your vinyl that you've applied. And that's pretty much it. So... I'm just going to pour some on. It's going to slip a little bit more than when you're putting it over your glitter because you already have vinyl, vinyl, because you already have a coat of resin on here. And you can sand between coats if you like. So I have done that with previous tumblers because they weren't perfectly smooth. I just gave it a quick sanding and worked out just good. <laughs> and then basically once this dries overnight you are done and I'll show you guys some beautiful pics of this Northern Lights tumbler. And I just want to say a huge thank you everybody for watching, subscribing, liking and commenting on my videos it helped me out greatly and i hope you enjoy them and i love creating them for you and you guys are awesome and i hope you have a blast creating your own northern lights tumbler thanks guys